not the X-Men, with Frank King. In three, two... Previously on X-Men. Hi, Prof- Professor X. Yes. Hi, I um, I, I I saw the ad that you put out um on Instagram. Which which ad? The the one that you said that you could make you can make anybody into a superhero. Uh, that's not a direct quote, but you. Well, but, well, it it says you can you can unleash superpowers. There you go. Yeah. Okay, all yeah. right. So here here's the way we feel about that. Have you seen the movie The Wizard of Oz? When the wizard's floating away in the hot air balloon. Glinda the Good Witch says, you've always had the power? Exactly. Oh, so it's it's within me already? It may be. So I'm a mutant? <laughs> what if the mutants is not really a mutation? You're not a mutant. You're just an adaptation because of, you know, evolution. Tell me about yourself. Tell me, um, I mean, uh, I like to do this. Mess is stress is successes. Okay. So tell me about your message. Tell me what you struggle with. None of the things I do seem to really be successful. You know, I'm, I'm not really good at my job. Well, do you, do you feel like a superpower would make you better at that job? I don't know. I sell insurance. What do you think? Are you passionate about insurance? I don't care about insurance. It's not going to make you a better insurance salesperson. Okay. All right. You know, what are the stresses in your life? This girlfriend that I dated for four years in college. Yep. We were both virgins when we got married. I had sex for the first time and it was awful. Now she wants to have sex and I am scared of it. So is this superpower you're looking for sexual dynamo or? I mean, I'd prefer flight. You know, being ass kickingly good at foreplay. Here's my advice on that. Get some lesbian porn and watch the way the women work on each other. That's the key to turn your wife around. Tell me what you're, you're best at. I really like cooking. Iron Chef is not a superhero competition. Yeah, yeah, I I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay. Well, tell me about your mental state. Have you um have you been ever been diagnosed with any sort of mental illness? I was always told growing up, don't make your problems other people's problems. Sure. Yeah. Well, make your make your problems my problems. I know what your problem is. It's hard to make it through the day. I have a hard time waking up in the morning. Yeah. I'll lay in bed and uh, stare at the ceiling where it's got the little dots and you can like see pictures in it. Uh, I, I'm almost embarrassed to admit I can. No, I'll stare at those for like uh, like an hour and a half in the morning. More. Yeah, well, tell me about the afternoon. Do you rally in the afternoon? Do you? I drink about uh, five or six cups of coffee in the afternoon to get through the day. Yeah. Well, it, do, you, do you feel like you have depression? Oh, I don't. I wouldn't say that. What well, do you ever feel hopeless? I mean, doesn't everybody feel hopeless all the time? It sounds like to me that you have major depressive disorder. And what your superpower may be is something called depressive realism. Depressive realism. You see the world far more accurately than people who are neuronormal. It's almost like the Matrix. You can see the Matrix behind the facade. That, I believe, is your superpower. Whoa, that is a really cool superpower. Yeah. I think I already have a code name. What well, is? Insight. What do you think? Yes. Can I join the X-Men? I should have told you before we started. We're not the X-Men. Because all of us have a mental illness of some kind or other. We're the Xanax men.